Hi guys, this is me. Well, actually, this is me right now. Er, the moment I was making this video. And this is gonna be me for today's video. But what makes me, me? Definitely not my humor, and definitely not my clothes. It is in fact my DNA, the instructions for what makes me, me. But what words make up the instructions for me? These words are different arrangements of nucleotides, A, T, C, G. Adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. A pairs with T, and G pairs with C. These words are inked onto a paper, or the backbone, made of alternating phosphate and sugar residues. This is what gives me my hair color, my eye color, and how tall I am. So, DNA equals me. But what if there is something I want to change about myself? What if I want, say, purple eyes, or green hair? Although it is not possible now, it may well be in the near future. Possibly by a genetic editing tool called CRISPR. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats, and was first discovered in bacteria. The two very smart people, Jennifer Dudna and Emmanuel Carpentier, figured out how it could be used to edit DNA. They discovered this in a specific type of CRISPR, known as CRISPR-Cas9. CRISPR-Cas9 consists of two parts, the Cas9, which is an enzyme, and guide RNA. Think of CRISPR-Cas9 as a pair of scissors. Cas9 would be the scissors, and the guide RNA would be the hand holding the scissors. The DNA we want to edit would be a piece of paper, and every nucleotide would be a different colored line along the paper. If I want to cut certain lines out of the paper, I tell my hand to cut at two lines at each end, which is exactly what CRISPR-Cas9 does. In this way, the guide RNA, or the hands, can be programmed with a certain location for the cutting to occur. But now I've cut the paper, and I have all this empty space. Well, either the DNA mutates and creates its own new instructions in place of the old ones, or scientists can input another piece of paper with the desired lines in its place. Cool, right? The CRISPR mechanisms is put into a subject through a deactivated virus or into developing embryos. With this, it is possible to edit almost any genetic material. There are limits to Cas9, though. Cas9 will only cut if there is a certain marker or string of nucleotides known as a PAM, before the DNA wished to be edited. However, there are other types of CRISPR being studied, one of the most promising being CPF1. And with CRISPR, the possibilities could be endless. Now if I want green hair and purple eyes, I could have green hair and purple eyes. Other uses could be to cure genetic diseases, change physical features, make healthier farm animals, even drought-resistant crops. But for now, I think I'll stay just the way I am.